Hi, this is Mark from LongAllenWatch.com, and I am getting ready to leave for Basel. And right before I go, I get in a shipment of your watch your way. The first shipment came in. So I wanted to just show four of them to you really quick. Um, I'm going to try to develop a rep repository of images of all the ones that get done. I wanted to show you what four people decided to do, and uh, I think they look amazing. Um, no, I know a lot of people have been asking. I'm not doing the work myself. Uh, I did contract an external firm to do it. Uh, it would be crazy to do the amount of work that's involved. First one up. Uh, SKX 011J with a double dome anti-reflective sapphire and a ceramic uh, sub style bezel with the luminous pip and it stays on the regular Seiko strap that's what this person opted for next up is an Orient Mako 2 black dial with a double dome crystal with anti-reflective coating and the strap code, what is that? It's an end mill bracelet. Awesome. Love what, you know, this is the same crystal that I put on the Long Island Ray. It totally, it just looks amazing. I, I love the way the crystal just pops out with the watch. So this watch started out life as a 009J. Let's see what they did here. They uh, opted for silver Mercedes hands. You can see them there. Loomed ceramic bezel insert. Uh, what is that? It's a double dome sapphire crystal. A lot of double domes, obviously. Double dome sapphire crystal. And this is the strap code engineer bracelet. Totally rip it, man. I totally love it. So here's another one. This one also started out life as a 009, a uh, 009 K2, I believe. We, we've opted here for orange Mercedes hands. The loom bezel again, and a double dome crystal. And again with the engineer bracelet. I picked these four because it represented an Orient and a couple of Seiko's hand options, bezel options. I, I like what the 011 did with the orange. Th there's a lot to pick from. There's hundreds, thousands of uh, combinations that you could do. You could do flat crystals on any of these or single domes. The double domes do tend to be the most popular going through the first batch of orders. Um, people have been asking me for just updates. So what's going on? The bezel inserts on the 007s, 009s, we will be expanding. Right now, I know there's only two. Be expanding that to about eight or so. Batmans, Pepsis, uh, Dual Times, all sorts of different bezels there. Um, Going to be doing coin edge bezels as well, not just inserts. Getting into new bezels. Getting into crystals for the 013. Crystals for the Bambino. Crystals for the Monsters. Um, you know, single, uh, single dome, excuse me, double domes and flats for, um, for those watches. And I'm also trying to get into the Orient bezel market. Not as simple because the Orient bezel insert is a little more complicated, but that's a whole other issue. Anyway, uh, this has been Mark from LongOutWatch.com showing you a couple of the, uh, the first batch of your watch, your way, uh, models that have been done. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below. And I will catch you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.